this time in 24 hours, we will be heading to the domestic terminal to catch our first flight. Hi guys, long time no chat. It's been a little while since I've done a vlog um, and come on here and said hey. So as you can probably tell by the title, it's a pretty exciting one this time and I'm still kind of in shock. <laughs> it's the day before we leave for Japan. <laughs> and we leave tomorrow, which is super exciting. It was really spontaneous <laughs> when we booked it. It was really random and really spontaneous when we booked it. So I'm still kind of going, ah, like what is life right now? So I'm just trying to attempt to pack at the moment. I've been trying to brush up on my Japanese a lot of the time and trying to just get like the main phrases down. So my mum and I leave for the domestic airport tomorrow because we fly from Sydney to Brisbane, was it Gold Coast? one of them. From there we go to Narita which and then from Narita we go to Tokyo which is where we're staying so We are finally in Tokyo and oh man that was an intense couple of days. We had a pretty good flight actually, it wasn't too bad, it didn't have any bumps or anything like that except at the end where we kind of got 10 meters. That was a little bit intense but yeah everything went really smoothly. We are at her hotel in Tokyo and you can't really see but there's a lot of ground that's covered just in pure building. It's so crammed together it's a bit ridiculous but it's an amazing city and we are having lots of fun exploring.
dishes. Oh, it's so hot. It is so hot. And we are trying to, very hard not to trip over. Mum's in the background. Hi, Mum. The geisha with glasses. And this one. A short way. <laughs> and we're racing to our tea ceremony because we are so late because we got lost. Oops. But we feel fabulous. <laughs> decked out in my Minnie and Mickey gear. It's a Disneyland resort, so. She's trying to get us, she's trying to get her sea legs back. And now we're gonna try and find some food. So we've been saving our non-food consumption for uh, after that one. So let's go find some food. Australian tea. Hi, Mum. Oh, hi. Oh, she's sunburnt. 
and today we are heading to Disneyland Sea, which is the second part of Disneyland, which is kind of, it's more like the adult theme park, so we've got better rides apparently, and it's not as kiddie. I don't know, it's highly recommended, so let's check it out. I'm already decked out in my Disney outfit, I'm ready to go. So, we are in Tokyo, and we're in the hotel room, and I'm trying to order food for dinner, because we toured all of, what was it called? Shiba... Shibaya. Shibaya. The Shibaya Crossing. We did the whole day there, and I could not find hardly anything to eat that was vegan or didn't have some sort of ridiculous spice on it. And I, if I eat another burger, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna look like a burger. So I discovered Japanese Uber Eats, which I thought was kind of cool. It's like 8.30 at night, so it's all in Japanese. <laughs> but I'm hoping the lady at the front desk was so lovely and kind and she rang the store and asked them, was it vegan? Because there was yellow stuff in the sushi under the heading of vegan and she called them up and apparently it's sesame. So that's fine. Thank God I don't have an allergy to nuts because that would be even more awkward. I don't know if it's expensive. I think my whole meal was like 2,700 yen, which 1,000 yen is equal to... $13.99 so a little bit expensive but I don't care I'm starving and I haven't eaten almost all day so <sighs> fingers crossed it turns up okay we have had success I look so tired because it's like 9 o'clock at night but anyway the Uber Eats has come and it's really weird they don't actually put it in an Uber Eats bag in Japan it's just the bag that the store comes with so we have the sushi in this one. I ordered a lot of sushi because I'm hungry with some chopsticks. And this one should be my bento box and my gyoza. Mmm, yummy bento box. Apparently this is all vegan, so it looks a bit sus, but fingers crossed. <laughs> and then here is my vegan gyoza. Apparently this stuff is really good from this place, so I'm excited to try it. Let us chow. First time trying real Japanese sushi. I'm excited. Let's do this. It smells funny, actually. It smells very different to the sushi we have in Australia, so which I kind of was surprised about. Sorry I'm shaking. But yeah, let's try it. You ready? Here we go. Tastes like sushi. I'm not really sure what the smell, the different smell was, but I think actually it could be this. I think it's a little bit of okra or something. I'm not really sure. Hmm. 